Dear Mom, I miss you. Yesterday you turned 92 and I couldn't be with you. This pandemic prevents us from being together, but soon we'll meet again. Not today, but soon. I spent the weekend in the Australian bush, in a small town in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by gum trees. Instead of a house, I stayed on a train, a very old train carriage converted into a house. Windows were made of wood, the hinges of copper. There was even a suitcase rack in one of the cabins. It felt like a real train, like I was traveling somewhere else at a time when we could travel. Walking along the corridor, I was convinced the train was moving, swaying from side to side. My room was at the end of the car. There was a big bed, a comfy pillow, and old furniture. The curtains were a beautiful red velvet. At night it rained a lot and it was very cold. So we cuddled at the end of the car where there's a fireplace, a sofa, a woolen blanket. There was no television which seems appropriate. There were books, but I didn't read any. I brought music, a bit of jazz, blues, Johnny Mitchell. I had been told that Johnny had died and I was so sad. I mourned for days, only to find out that she's still alive. I was so happy. I woke up early one morning, had a hot cup of coffee and went out for a jog. I came across a goat who lived next door. I saw kangaroos, listened to birds, felt the rain on my face. I came back to a hot shower outside where there's an old bathtub. I was surrounded by nature, plants, birds. There was also an old sink and a mirror. It was only seven degrees outside, but the water was warm. I felt in harmony with the elements, the wind, water, nature, you would have loved it. It's late, the fire is dying, and I'm heading to bed. I hope that through this letter, you felt close to me and enjoyed seeing everything I would like to have shared with you in person. A kiss from your son who loves you, Magno. Hey.